Hello, my name is Pedro. I have a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus and welcome to another episode of Driving Tesla. I live in Portugal. Today I'm going to do a small road trip uh, about 50 kilometers. I'm going to test the autonomy of the car after the, the software update to version uh, 10 and uh, number 36.2.1. So, I plan to leave uh, uh, from, uh, from here, uh, from the house, and uh, go to, to Costa Nova, uh, near Aveiro. I, I'm going to avoid the um, tolls, I'm going, to, I'm going on uh, national roads, so let's do it. So I'm going now on the highway, <coughs> This uh, that part of the highway it doesn't have tolls and I'm going to test the power and performance of the car. It's fast, really fast. I feel, I feel a better performance on the car since the upgrade. I'm not going to use the brakes. You see, it's regenerating. see uh, I'm, slow, I'm slowing down look at the pawn I didn't use the brakes now I'm going to start again can you see the bar here when it's green for the left the battery is regenerating when it's black I'm wasting battery It's it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good a good brake it's a good deceleration so the, uh, when I'm decelerating I am uh, the battery is regenerating let's check again on this traffic. see uh, the average it's one oh, 151 watts per kilometer the power of the car 
I'm going to test the autopilot in a, or in a traffic jam. So, as you can see, I'm on autopilot, keeping the distance to the, the front of the, uh, the next car. The car itself is accelerating when, uh, when uh, it can do that. So, uh, 26 kilometers, I spent 8% of the battery, the average is 143 watts per kilometer. As you can see, I am on a road where I can drive to uh, 90, 90 kilometers per hour, but it should be 50 because we are in the middle of a, of a village. So with 8% we almost made 30, 30 kilometers, so let's go! The autopilot is amazing, you are not wasting, a lot, uh, all, you are wasting almost no, uh, almost no energy and the car does all the work for you, as you can see it's speeding a little I'm keeping my hand on the wheel so in this case I can avoid the message put the hand on the wheel it's better and you can react faster if uh, in case, uh, uh, in case, just in case, you can react faster if you keep the hand, one hand on the wheel. So let let's see if the. Uh, uh oh. No. Okay, autopilot on the roundabout doesn't work. I knew it. I have the basic autopilot because uh, remember I have the standard range plus. So, I, I'm traveling to Costa Nova, so at that time I wasted 10% of the battery and made 34 kilometers with 10% of battery, so we could say at that moment we can have uh, an autonomy driving of 340 kilometers. It's, well, that's amazing. As you can see, with 15% of uh, battery spent, remember we uh, I started with 72% of battery. Now I have 57. With 15%, I made almost 53 kilometers at an average of 131 watts per kilometer. We are uh, 16 kilometers from uh, our destination. Oh, I will do a new balance after I arrive at the destination. I'm going to get in a highway without tolls. I'm going to test the, the power and acceleration. So I'm going to do it now. I can't speed I can't speed anymore because I have a car in front of me. I check. I arrive with my destination. Uh, drive it for. Uh, I drove for um, 70 kilometers and um, and spent 21% of the battery. 
I started with 72%. Now I have 51%. So that means uh, that means that the, the the driving autonomy of the car is 333 kilometers. So I think it's very good because uh, it means that 40 kilometers are spent in uh, the management of the the car system. So the standard range plus has a full autonomy of 370 kilometers, and a few of the, of those kilometers are wasted in management of the entire uh, car system. Now I'm going to go back if I can maintain this average, but I'm going to make uh, a detour to a place and uh, I'm going back home. So let's see how the car behaves in the second half of this uh, trip. I want to show you another thing. 51% if I put the distance, I have 191 kilometers, which means that I, I have uh, 382 kilometers of uh, full autonomy. So, the, the first 25 kilometers on uh, the return trip were made at an average of 171 watts per kilometer. Uh, the first 15 kilometers were in the highway, so drove uh, at higher speeds, obviously. Now I'm going to Tojera, uh, that's my detour of the original trip. Uh, I expect to arrive with 36% of uh, autonomy. So I'm going to waste 6% uh, more on the battery. Now it's on the 42%. So with 30%, I, I drove 95.8 kilometers or an average of 146 watts per kilometer. So I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good, it's good. In the end, we do the final mat. So, I've made so far, uh, since I left uh, Costa Nova, I made 46 kilometers at an average of 160 watts per kilometer. So, I speeded uh, a little more, so, since I left home, I made so far today 116 kilometers at an average of, of 146 watts per kilometer. So I wasted precisely 36% of autonomy. I began with 72, now I have 36, which means that the the total driving autonomy for this car is is now on 323 kilometers. So when I got back, I I I lost 10 kilometers of uh, autonomy because I drove faster. I I speeded faster. So I'm making a normal drive. I'm not worried on. Uh, sparing a battery I'm making a normal drive in highway in national roads one thing um, 36% is equivalent to 132 kilometers so which means that the total autonomy of this car is on 366 kilometers so uh, I lost here four kilometers. Mmm, strange. Well, I'm home. I made 161.2 uh, kilometers. 
uh, on an average of 149 watts per kilometer. I use it 52% of battery. So the driving autonomy in the end of the journey is 310 kilometers. So I think it's good. In the the, retu the return trip, I made 91 kilometers, and uh, on an average of uh, 158 watts per kilometer. So I think it was a a good a good journey. I'm going to see about the um, how many kilometers. Sorry, so. I have 75% less. If we, we that means 75 plus 5. I have a, a full autonomy of the car 375 kilometers. Five kilometers more the, uh, than the 370. No, I'm not losing battery. There is no degradation uh, on the battery. So I think it was a good test, but it could be better. So I made a, a normal driving. I didn't worry on uh, sparing battery, as I told you before. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If, uh, if you want to see more videos, uh, click on the subscribe button below. I will do videos in Portuguese, my native language, and in, in, in English. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do not have a Tesla, or if you want to buy another Tesla, you can use uh, Marie Forro to get 1500 kilometers for free in superchargers, uh, a Tesla supercharger, or 2000 miles if, uh, if, that, if it is possible. Okay, see you next time. Goodbye.